Bro, it's crazy. I'm I'm outside the gym right now. I'm about to hit a chest and back day. I'm excited to do that. But I was driving here. I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about burnout. And I remember not even a year ago, bro, my biggest struggle for so long was burnout. I would always start implementing habits that I've always wanted in my life and then fall back into my old habits. I would implement the habits feel like I was overextending myself, feel like I was pushing myself too hard, and then fall back into my old habits. And bro, (laughs) I'm at a point now where the old version of me not only would be burnt out, but wouldn't have even made it here. Like, I'm at a point now where I don't indulge in any of my old bad habits, and I've implemented every single good habit that I could ever want. And I don't even feel... I don't even feel burnt out. I don't even feel like I'm pushing myself too hard. And it's just like, it's weird to think about. It's really, really weird to think about how how much progress I've made without really recognizing that I've made the progress. If you understand what I mean, like I've been living it and it doesn't feel like I'm pushing myself too much. It doesn't feel like I'm doing too much. It just feels like I'm now, like I'm making the progress and I'm living the lifestyle that I've always wanted to live. And... It just feels good, bro. It just feels good. And how I did it, bro. There's <laughs> there's really there's there's a few things and I'm I've talked about them a bunch on this channel, so I'm just going to explain them really really quickly. The first thing is remove regret, remove guilt, remove shame from your life. Anything that you do where you feel guilty afterwards, you feel shameful, you feel regretful, those are things you have to remove from your life because as you remove them from your life, you'll be able to wake up every morning in a state that's more elevated than guilt and shame. Guilt and shame are the lowest possible frequencies you can be at. And if every single day you wake up and you're operating from guilt and shame, you're fucked. So remove the things that you feel guilty and shameful of. That's step one. Next thing, focus on the action as opposed to the result. Okay. The result is still the goal, but your actions are where you validate yourself. So every single day for my diet, for example, I was focused on eating the right foods and that is how I win. If I eat the right foods, I win. If I go to the gym, I win. It's not if I see this number on the scale, I win, or I see these results in the mirror, I win. It's the, the diet and the, and the training. If I do those things, I win at my diet. If I film the video, edit it, and pre-upload it, I win. It's not if I have this many subscribers, I win. If I if I get this many views, I win. No, it's the action. Okay? And eventually, today I woke up and I'm 189 pounds, bro. When I started this whole weight loss journey, I was 244 pounds, and my goal was to be 190. I'm technically at my goal. As I've gotten closer and closer to my goal, I've realized, oh, I'm going to have to get a little bit lower than 190. My goal now is 180, 185. But I still got to see this morning that I reached my original goal and it felt fucking good. Like, it's not like the result feels any worse when you get there. It's just, I'm not validating myself on that. So now if I were to have reached that goal and my mindset was just that the result was the goal, I would have hit this goal And immediately fallen back into my old habits. Because I would have been like, well, mission complete. I can go back to what I like. But no. I validate myself on the actual action. I'm not worried about the weight that I'm at. I'm worried about every single day keeping up with the habits that I know will lead me to my goals. Because the, the progress never ends, bro. Actions over results. Remove regret and shame. And then do things for other people. This is another one that's big. At the beginning, I wouldn't have done any of this for myself. So I had to look for other reasons to actually do what I'm doing. So I started off being like, okay, I need to get sober. I need to drop all these addictions and vices. I need to get fit, not for myself, for my family, for my girlfriend. I don't want them to have to deal with me being miserable. I have to get fit and drop all these vices for the people who will look at me that I don't know are looking at me for inspiration. I need to get fit and break all these vices so that when I speak on camera on these videos, 
I can, I can do it without feeling like I'm a fraud, feeling like I'm an imposter. That's where imposter system syndrome comes from. Okay. Do things for other people and it'll be a lot easier to stay consistent with it until you actually are living that life. And a great way to get to the point where you actually are living that life is a third is the fourth thing. And this is huge. This is like when I implemented this, this is when like everything fucking changed. Create a very, 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 very clear vision of your higher self. The best version of yourself. What do you look like as the best version of yourself? What, what actions do you partake in as the best version of yourself? What actions do you not partake in as the best version of yourself? What energy do you carry yourself with? And what energy do people feel you feel when they're around you? What is your character and demeanor? What values do you hold yourself to? And what standards do you hold yourself to as the best version of yourself? Write that down, whether it's on paper, whether it's on your phone, I don't care. Write it down and read that every single morning and live through the lens of that person. That shit will change your life. The first time I ever did that, I was 220 pounds. And I wrote in that journal, in present tense and first person, by the way. You write this all in present tense and first person. I wrote in that journal, I wrote, I look like an elite level MMA athlete, I weigh between 175 to 190 pounds with a solid amount of muscle. That's like the first thing in my appearance column. And bro, I am now between 170 to 190 pounds because I've been living through the lens of that person. I'm not at that goal yet. That's not what I'm saying. I don't look like an elite level MMA athlete, but I'm slowly getting to a point where those words on that page are becoming true. And I rewrite that journal every couple weeks to, to revise it and kind of get myself more in line with and kind of like realign it. But bro, those are the four things that I implemented that changed my life. And I hope they'll change yours too. I appreciate you watching. Scroll down, hit subscribe button. Check the other links in the description because they might help you. Take care, bro. Peace.